He's saying so long to the Saratoga, the old aircraft carrier that's been tied up in Rhode Island for years now, as ambitious plans for a museum surfaced and sunk, we'll soon call it a day. But before she's towed to a Texas scrapyard later this month, some of those who will miss her the most said their goodbyes today, as NBC10 Susie Steinmull reports. USS Saratoga will set sail for the final time this month before being turned into scrap in Texas. 180 of the boys she turned into men over the past 60 years came from across the country to Newport to say goodbye. It's going to be very emotional. You know, I saw her birth, now I'm seeing her death. These men will never forget the first time they met Sarah. And a lot of my values today I learned and became a man on that flight deck. I get off at the uh, gate at Brooklyn Naval Yard and I, we walked over to it and I'm going, holy mackerel, where's the end? This, I've never seen anything so big. This 81,000 ton aircraft carrier played an instrumental role in the Cuban Missile Crisis, Gulf War and the Vietnam War. Most of these men wanted to turn the ship into a museum in Newport, but the funding never came through. For the past 12 years, the USS Saratoga Association has been trying to preserve this ship and turn it into some sort of a museum. That effort failed in 2010. This summer, it was sold to a contractor in Texas for the price of one cent. I, I got a dollar. I'll give him a dollar for it. I'll take it, you know. <laughs> but it's, it's sad. If anybody's ever been to Charleston and seen the Yorktown Museum at Patriots Point, they'd understand what this could have been. Yeah. Should have been. Friday, the sun and sea dance along the sides of the Saratoga for the last time as she sets sail on her final voyage. In Newport, Susie Steimel, NBC10 News.